determination of the formula unit of a compound. Hi, my name is Helen, and I will be your guide for this experiment. The learning outcomes for this experiment are to synthesize a zinc chloride compound. Next, to determine the formula unit of zinc chloride. Now, let's have a quick look into the theoretical background of this experiment. Chemical composition refers to the arrangement, type, and ratio of atoms in molecules. Once the composition of the compound is known, its formula unit can be determined. OK, now, let's look into chemicals and apparatus, in the list provided. Wow! These are all that we need, for this experiment. Make sure, you take note of everything here. Never use an analytical balance before? It's OK, my partner will show you, on how to operate this machine right after this. Hi! This experiment involves weighing using analytical balance. How do we do it? Let's have a look at the general procedures. Switch on the analytical balance. Wait until it displays 0 0.0000 gram. Place the weighing bottle on the balance pan and close the side door. Wait until the reading becomes constant. Record the exact mass of weighing bottle. An exact here means accurate. Press the tear button to cancel the mass of weighing bottle. Wait until it displays 0 0.0000 gram again. Carefully add the powder to be weighed. Continue until you get the desired mass. Now we are ready to go. Let's start experiment 1. Weigh a 50 ml crucible by using an analytical balance. Press tear button to cancel the mass of crucible. Place approximately 0 0.25 grams of zinc powder into the crucible. Record the exact mass. The next step must be carried out inside the fume cupboard. Make sure you put on safety goggles and gloves. Measure 10 ml of 6 molar HCl solution by using a 10 ml measuring cylinder. Carefully add in the HCl solution into the crucible containing the zinc powder. 
Stir the mixture gently using a glass rod until it is completely dissolved. However, if it is difficult to dissolve, you can add more HCl but the total volume must not exceed 20 ml. Place the crucible on a hot plate and heat the content slowly. This is to ensure that the solution does not splatter. Heat the compound gently until it is completely dry. Observe the solution from time to time. This is to avoid the compound from melting. When the compound is completely dry, remove the crucible from the hot plate immediately. Use crucible tongue and place it on a white tile. Allow it to cool to room temperature. Weigh and record the mass of the crucible and the compound. Reheat the crucible to dry the compound. Observe the reheat process to avoid the compound from melting. Repeat the procedures until the difference in mass does not exceed 0.02 gram. Now you can tabulate all the data. Then you can calculate the mass of chlorine in the zinc chloride and determine the formula unit. <sighs> Experiment is done. See you again.